Let's have a short overview of the income statement. So we'll So you remember from the accounting equation that assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. And owner's equity has a number of components. Um, and the key components of those is revenue less expenses. So that is where our income statement comes from. So we'll have revenue. In this case, we'll talk about sales as our revenue. So we'll have net sales of, so let's say, um, $250,000. Less cost of goods sold, sold of say 150,000. So you see here we are looking at a retail entity, and that will give us a gross profit equals our gross profit of 100,000, which is 250 minus 150. Now underneath that, we then need to continue on and we get less uh, expenses or sometimes referred to as overhead expenses. Um, and we'll say they are 50,000, which will leave us with a net profit of 50,000, being 100,000 minus 50,000. So we've got uh, revenue, stand out if I can. If it doesn't stop for too long, that was a mistake. I know, revenue, less expenses in two components being cost of goods sold and then other expenses, getting us down to our profit. Now, our net sales um, need to be broken up a bit. So we've got revenue minus expenses equals profit. And um, let's see what makes up in revenue. We're talking about sales, so we've got net sales. So let's look at how we may look at net sales. Net sales. So we have our sales. And let's say that's 260,000. Less. Sales, returns and allowances. And I'll say that's 3,000. No, I'll make it better make it 5,000. 50,000, I've made that too big. And I think for the purpose of this, it'll be easier to put the sales over there. Less sales, returns, and allowances. Less um, bad debt expense. Let's say 3,000. And less, I'm sure many of you are thinking already, what is less? And you know the next one will be um, discount allowed. Of, which you can probably guess what the amount is, 2,000. So when all of those add up, they'll add up to 10,000. So 260,000, less sales returns allowances, less bad debt expense, less um, discount allowed will be a net sales of 250,000. We should also look at um, our cost of goods sold because again that's really net cost of goods sold. So I'll put two here. Um, make just a bit more space. So two net COGS, cost of goods sold, so we have our cost of goods sold. That's clearly an important point, so let's say that's 151,000. Um, less any discount we received. Receive, but let's say that's 3,000. And then we need to add to that plus freight. And freight in of 2,000. So 
we have 151,000 less 3,000 plus 2,000 so that's going to become 150,000 so 151 minus 3 is 148 plus 2 is 150,000 and that's a starting point for our um, income statement the next area you'll need to look at will be expenses so if we look at that in terms of the assignment you are told um, that there is three functions you have in this business and so you need to divide um, up the expenses into those three functions bye